So we just got back from a family vacation to Costa Rica. Now, Costa Rica is one of our most favorite places in the entire world. So in this week's video, we're gonna go over seven things that you need to know before going to Costa Rica. Let's cue that intro. What's up, YouTube? Trevi from the Adventure Buddies, the modern travel family, bringing you another video filled with tips, tricks, and inspiration to make sure you maximize your next family adventure, like we always do here at the Adventure Buddies. So the first thing that you need to know about Costa Rica is that there's two types of seasons, and these seasonalities are important, especially when booking or planning your travel. So the first season is what they call the dry season. So this is typically between December to April. So dry season is just as that. In the tropical rainforest, you're not going to see as much rain. There will still be a little bit, but typically this is going to be the drier part of the season. So this is going to be a popular time for you to go, but also a very crowded time for you to go. So if you do go during this time, expect high crowds and associated high prices with that. So then on the counterpart is what they call wet season. So this is from May to November. So just like the name suggests, this is where you're going to experience the most amount of rain in the tropical rainforest. So just be cautious because there's going to be a lot of rain and just know that going into it and you're going to have no problem. So if you're looking for an opportunity or a time that's going to be less crowded and you're going to get rates or prices that are cheaper, then book during the wet season. So we just got back from Costa Rica in October and had an absolute wonderful time with no crowd and a price that you wouldn't believe. So keep that in mind. Know the seasons before going to Costa Rica. So the second thing that you should know about Costa Rica is that this is a country that requires no visa. So whether you're American or most European countries, this requires no visa. And so oftentimes upon arrival, you'll get a 90 day tourist visa just for that. So if you're planning on staying in 90 days, then you have more things to consider. But if you're not, and you're just going for that vacation, then no need to worry. Your passport will do just fine. So the third thing to know about Costa Rica before you go is what type of power outlets do they have? So if you're coming from the United States, they have type A and type B outlets, which that means you don't need to bring an adapter because our plugs will work. So if you are coming from a European country though, please consider getting an adapter. If you're looking for an adapter, click the link below for our one in our Amazon travel kit that we use every single time. So just keep that in mind, you don't need an adapter, type A and type B outlets when traveling to Costa Rica. So the fourth thing that you need to know about Costa Rica before you go is to understand the overall tipping culture. So we find the tipping culture fascinating as it varies between each international country that we do. So typically in Costa Rica, you're going to see a 10% service charge that's going to be automatically added onto any bill. So that's going to be seen at the restaurants. That's going to be seen as part of gratuity for adventures, etc. So just know that going in. And so if you feel that the service is going above that 10%, feel free to contribute more in terms of tips and gratuity. So the fifth thing that we feel you need to know about Costa Rica before you go is that Costa Rica is filled with nonstop adventures. So they have everything from zip lining to rappelling down waterfalls to jumping off waterfalls, white water rafting, horseback riding, etc. This is a place where you can do it all. So if you're looking for a vacation that checks that box for the adrenaline junkies, or you just want to get out from underneath that umbrella and beach chair lounging at the beach, Costa Rica is the place to do it. So make sure you pack good, durable hiking shoes, some water shoes, etc. and prepare to get wet, muddy, or all of the above because Costa Rica is a place for all things adventure. So if you want to learn more about the adventures, make sure you click that red subscribe button for more adventures from us, the Adventure Buddies, coming to you. So then that brings us to number six. Make sure you understand that Costa Rica is typically divided up into two parts, the Caribbean side and the Pacific side. Both sides are uniquely different. So whether you're looking for a total beach vacation or you're trying to just be submersed in an adventure inside the jungle, make sure you do a little bit of research on which one that you prefer. I'm not going to give away which one it is, but if you are asking us, we do prefer the Pacific coast and we'll get into why in number seven. And then finally, we get to number seven. So this is the seventh thing. It's probably the most important thing that we feel you need to know before going to Costa Rica, and that is where to stay. So if you're looking for the absolute best place to stay in all of Costa Rica, then check out the Tulumar Resort. So if you're looking to be immersed fully in the jungle with your own private beach, surrounded by all types of wildlife, well, look no further than Tulumar Resort in Manuel Antonio. So if you click that red subscribe button, we got a full video on just that coming your way. So if you like this video, please consider giving us that big thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button for more travel tips and adventures. And most importantly, remember, life's an adventure. Who are you going on with?